Hey gang, Scott here. Uh, today I have a tip for you that comes courtesy of Steve Bastaman. He's an On One user and he put together a really cool, interesting preset to help you visualize your shadows, your midtones, and your highlights in your photos. If you've been wrestling with this kind of thing, it's a really useful preset to add to your library. Steve's making it available for free. I've got a link to it below that you can just pop on over there check out his website, pick up the preset. I wanted to show you the basics of how this works and uh, it's very clever. So let's just look at this photo here and you're looking at it and going, okay, I think I kind of know what my shadows are, what my midtones are, what my highlights are. Or maybe you're, well, I'm not really sure. Let me open up my presets panel. I've loaded in Steve's preset, shadows, midtones, highlights. And immediately, even without applying the preset, this is the really cool thing. Just looking at the the little thumbnail as well. If I open it up in the quick view, right? I can just immediately see, okay, he's doing some color tinting here. And so it looks like I've got this deep magenta. That's my shadows. I would expect some highlights in the sky. It's this you know, cyan. I've got green in the midtones. Oh, and there's actually a pretty big mix of highlights and midtones in here. You know, that's interesting. If I apply it to my photo, you can see what he's done is added a few effects filters, conveniently named Shadows, Midtones, Highlights. And you know, he's using a, it looks like a photo filter to do these things and various uh, blending modes and uh, probably some things in the gear menu. You can dig into the preset to figure out what it's doing and you know use those tips and tricks on your own photos. I'm a big fan of walking a preset and figuring out what it's doing. But this is really nice. If you wanted to get an idea of, you know, well, what are my shadows? Well, they're they're here. If I turn off these other things, now I know my shadows are here. And actually, not all of the cliff face in this photo are considered shadows according to this preset. And so that's useful. That's interesting information. The midtones. There actually are quite a bit of little midtones scattered through these pebbles here. So maybe if I'm thinking about it, if I open the midtones a little and I start to close down the shadows some, I'll get a deeper, richer set of contrast there, get more detail showing up here. And of course the highlights, those are speckled all throughout the sky and certainly along the surf line. So this preset is great for getting better at understanding the tones in your photo and especially if you're starting to build up these skills, check out Steve's website. He's got a very nice setup there. Again, link is below. And even if you don't end up applying the preset, use it in the preview area and just look at it in the quick view, big thumbnail, and you'll get a quick idea. All right, this is where my shadows are. This is where my highlights are and you can get to work on your photo thinking about those different tonal regions. Steve, thanks very much for sharing the preset with me and I'm sure that many others are gonna get some great use out of it. If you got questions about the preset, best to steer those towards Steve, but if you got other questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport, have fun.